name Foga. The acronym Foga stood for the Fellowship of Liberian Gospel Artists. Liberian Gospel Artists was founded in 2006. And the aim of that uh, organization at the time was to bring Liberian Gospel Artists together. Those of us who are in Liberia, who grew up in Liberia, who were born and who grew up in Liberia, we, we sort of saw so many wonderful people who got called to use for his own purpose. And most of those people had the opportunity to travel overseas. Regret that when they came here, a lot of them lay aside their talents. They began working right for a double, double shift. They didn't have any time at all to get together to further the, 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 the time that God has been bringing the system. That they have to worship pay bills. When we had the chance to come to this country, we were wondering what happened to all of those people. We had a sister who sang Shine Shine for Jesus. We had a wonderful great Nigerian gospel artist. What happened to those people? Little did we know they were here. Some were already in Canada, some were in Europe, some were in America, but we just couldn't find those people. The Lord said, you know what? It's about time to talk to some of your friends and see if you can organize and know yourself into a body of believers. We've come on board. And they came to the kingdom of God forward. We went in here, we contacted a lot of our friends in different states. Low and people did himself but he did the same but like, how can we get together? Because Liberia was so blessed with so much incredible talent. But if you would just didn't have the time to come together, how can we do this? One person call one person, other person call one person before you know the whole world just the, the word just you know spread like wildfire. That's how Foga. Foga. F-O-L-G-A. The Liberian organization was founded. It was wonderful. But it was in turn that was just a most Liberian alone. As we began traveling different places and having our convention, the Lord began to speak to our hearts. And as God will have it, there were some brothers and sisters from all African countries who were asking, well, wait a minute, this is a wonderful vision. Why is it just for Liberian? What happened to us? We also have the talents too. Why can't we come together and do the same thing? Why are you just me? It was like, Meaning us, leaving us out of the vision. Why can't you eat? We are all past children. When we go to get heaven tomorrow, there will be no Liberian, no Ivorian, no Ghanaian, there will be children of God. Yeah. Why can't we come together and do that? And that was how we came together. And I want to bless the Lord so much for Pastor Samuel Pontet from Sierra Leone. He was one brother who was on the phone with us trying to find out to see if there was similar organization in America because we did not want to duplicate their vision. We were very careful so that when we come together and organize ourselves into a body, the way they say, oh, that's my dream, that's my this. Why did you see that idea for me? We did not find any organization with similar objectives. So we went ahead and converted the organization, the Fellowship of Liberian Gospel Artists, is for the Fellowship of African Gospel Artists. And the year that Fort I was birthed was 2012. And the Lord has been doing amazing work. And that's why a lot of people see tonight, so many Liberians here because like the, uh, the Fellowship of African Gospel Artists was birthed out of the Fellowship of Liberian Gospel Artists. Where well, should not start to say, oh, that's a Liberian group. No, we are no longer a Liberian group. We are an African group. We are an African organization. So far, the Lord has blessed us. We have four different nationalities. We have the Kenya, we have the Kenya, I'm sorry. We have the Sierra Leone, we have the Ghanaian. We have, we just have a brother from Nigeria who join us.
Mrs. Joyce Stanley. The vision was born from this lady. We are just here to help carry out the vision. And like she said, we are all from a foreign land. We are here in this strange land, but we know how to celebrate and how to praise God. Africans can praise God even if they don't have food to eat. It is through our troubles and our frustration that we praise God. If our children cannot go to school, we still praise God. So we cannot forget where we come from and who we are. And in order to carry that, music plays a big role. We are not getting paid for any of this. But we want to lift out the name of God and keep African gospel music alive. That is the reason we are here. I just want all of the African gospel musicians and artists that are in the building tonight, please stand so we can see you and let's give them a hand. All African gospel musicians, artists from all over. The work that you do, we cannot pay you. But we appreciate you and we welcome you. Like our father said, this group is open to everyone. We are asking for pastors, musicians, if you love music, you know how to play an event, come and join us. Celebrate with us because this is why we are here. I'm just going to ask all of the members of the Fellowship of African Gospel Artists to please stand that are in the house tonight. And I'm going to introduce our members and we will leave so we can continue on with the celebration. We have all the way from Denver, Colorado, our program director, Mr. Stacia Rose Smith is in the house. Thank you. 
we bless you. We also have some important people in the house. We just want to welcome and um, recognize our bishop that came all the way from Rhode Island. Bishop Nelson is here.